Has this ever happened to you? Oh, this! Or oh, even that! Don't give up just yet. Labeling your 3D prints can be quite challenging. From choosing the right paint to the right font, you can end up with a big mess. Here is a method I use to create the labels on my latest project. A fully 3D printed 6-axis remote control with 3 screens and 2 joysticks. Subscribe to see more of that. The materials you need are 1 ml syringes with bent hollow needles. I use 25 gauge needles here. Acetone, nail polish, clear acrylic spray paint, and a 3D printer with PLA filament. Don't use ABS because the acetone will dissolve it. First we have to create our labels in Fusion 360. You can use text as well as SVG graphics. Extrude your labels into your part to create a cutout. A depth of 1 mm has given me the best results because the paint likes to wick up the walls. Don't use a font that is too small or detailed because you won't be able to get your needle in there. When your design is finished, slice it in a slicer of your choice and print it. Having the label on a horizontal surface will get you better quality because the paint likes to wick into layer grooves. Once your print is done, do a better job cleaning it than I did and get all dust, hair and PLA strings out of there. Before you can start, you have to thin down the nail polish with acetone because it is too thick to be squeezed through the needle. One or two milliliter of acetone are enough for one bottle of polish. The more acetone you add, the easier it will be to apply the polish but you have to do more layers because there are less pigments per volume. Shake the bottle thoroughly when you're done mixing. Put the tip of the syringe without the needle into the nail polish bottle and pull up a bit of polish. Wipe the tip and put on a fresh needle. Use a fresh syringe and needle for every color. Now you're ready to fill your labels. When filling the grooves, make sure to cover the walls as well and don't leave any bubbles. To remove bubbles, suck up the paint and fill the area again. Move slow and steady to distribute the polish evenly. To get a steady hand, have as many points of contact with your hand at the table as possible. Once you're done, let the polish dry and apply a second coat if needed. You can squeeze back the leftover paint in the syringe into the bottle. If you've got a bit of paint outside the letters, don't worry, I show you how to remove it. Soak a Q-tip in acetone and carefully brush away the excess polish. The acetone will dissolve the paint, but also leave shiny smears behind. This is where the spray paint comes in. Just give the part a coat of clear acrylic spray paint, shiny or matte, your choice, and all the smears are gone. Here you go! That's how you label your 3D prints with durable labels that pop. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe while you're down there.